the dear people are at it, my dudes. Your boy Perky here, like and subscribe, uh, figured it all out. I got it all figured out in the brain meets, bro, right? So back in May, right, Twitch appointed a new being onto their safety council or whatever the fuck they did, right? Now, if you don't remember the saga of ferociously Steph, then let's get your ass up to fucking speed, shall we? Ferociously Steph got appointed to their safety council of diversity, leadership, fucking inclusivity, fucking safe space, fucking whatever shit, right? So that's what they did. Now, after this happened, people decided to dig in a little bit about Ferociously Steph's and see what the fuck kind of shit she said. Now, this is where shit gets a little bonkers, right? So she thinks voice chat is problematic for competitive gaming. The only way to have a level playing field at the highest level of play is to have is 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 to not have voice chat to not have people give up their linguistic profiles i mean and maybe you maybe you think you know if if you are a competitive gamer which a lot of people have been like stuff you're not a, you don't you clearly know nothing about competitive play well competition by the way y'all competition requires you to get every advantage possible to become one the top 0.01 percent in any video game you have to you have to get squeeze every amount of, of advantage you can possibly get because voice profiles will give away her secret portfolio to take over the internet she probably thinks that shit's racist and some other ist phobes as well you know fucking voice chat being racist and homophobic and shit what a fucking nazi all right scum tool i mean fuck dude trump probably uses uh voice chat to send cryptic messages to QAnon and mike pence about pedophilia and how joe biden is actually a lizard she also believes that most gamers are actually white supremacists in disguise. You know, behind the Elgato green screen and the fancy lights and shit, people are just hiding away them KKK robes and them SSS fucking leather fucking straps, bro. And uh, I'm not going anywhere. I have power. They can't take it away from me. And honestly, there, there are some people that should be afraid of me because I, I represent moderation and diversity and I'm gonna come for hurtful harmful people if you're a really shitty person i'm gonna stand up against you period and uh twitch is endorsing me to do that so she wants people to be afraid of her she wants people to know her powers right she loves to flaunt her power out in the yard making fun of other deer things that don't have as much power as they do you think they feel fucking good you remember how fucking rudolph felt right the other reindeer were making fun of him, bullying him, calling him names. They wouldn't let him play in any reindeer games, bro. How do you think these deer feel when she's outside making fun of them, saying that they don't have the Twitch powers that she does? Ha ha, I can ban people and you can't even say English. What the fuck is this deer hierarchy of relationships? How dare this fucking deer be so mean to other deers? And just in case you thought that Twitch should have had the brains to go, oh, this person is fucking psychotic. They believe they're a deer. Maybe we shouldn't do this. Nah, bro. Deer chick has all of the fucking weirdo fucking Twitch support that she needs, bro. How else do you think she could fucking create some Machiavellian Illuminati type fucking circle jerk closet robe shit of deer people over at Twitch? You may be asking yourself what this gorgeous bearded fuck is talking about over here and why the fuck am I going on about deer people and what are they doing? That was just the start of it, right? So the violent takeover of inclusivity by the woodland creatures has just started, right? So how could one deer person prove that they have all the power on the site? Could they maybe stream constantly and prove that they have a giant audience and a fucking platform we're speaking on about important points? No, what they could do is they could go and they could go hunt down some of the most some predators that twitch has right they take out the big predators so that way the deer are the only predators left they're the only ones left and they're the only ones that can do anything about it right so they're gonna go after the most problematic people on the site the big dogs the top thick alpha mcgee's fucks the doctor march 2020 was a big month a big moment for the doc right? A multi-year, multi-million dollar streaming contract to stream exclusively on Twitch, right? Now, what could go wrong with that? Little did he know, a killer, an absolute fucking behemoth of a predator would be allowed to hunt on that site for free. Fair game, dude. They let the big dogs out 
to fucking race. Who let the dogs out? Maybe it was Twitch. Maybe they weren't dogs at all. Maybe they were just deer. What the fuck is a doctor's worst fucking nightmare? That's right. Not apples. Not an apple a day will keep the doc away. No, dude. Deer. Deers breed fears. So only a month after he signed the deal, something major happened in his lifetime, right? So in June, he was banned off the platform permanently, without reason, nothing. Just cut the black, play the fucking bagpipes, and throw them in the fucking hole, right? So now I'm not saying that my fucking theory here is 100%, but it is coming from my mouth and I am the dopest alive, so you should probably take it as fact, right? So I'm fucking calling it, bro. The deer chick had to prove what she was capable of. The constant mocking and bullying from content creators and Twitter and normal brained fucking humans was too much. It was too much weight on the antlers. Yes, I know female deers don't have antlers, but we're arguing about somebody that thinks they're a fucking deer. So cut me a little bit of fucking slack, bro. I mean, still to this day, we don't know why Doc was banned. We don't know. Doc doesn't know. Twitch knows, and I'm certain the deer chick knows. The only people I know is the secret closet I was mentioning before with the deer costumes and the black robes and the gold plated paddles that they all spank each other around and decide who gets banned that day and which words people aren't allowed to say. Um, but anyway, you know, you just get just fucking my streamers out there. I'm looking out for you, bros. Just be careful because you never know. You never know what creatures are lurking out there in the dark where you can't see them looking to take down some innocent people. You know, you may think you're top dog today, but you never know when the deer is gonna strike. So the reason I'm bringing this all up right now is because Doc was streaming with some other people and Twitch decided under, while everybody was fucking not looking to change their terms of service, fuck because of reasons, right? So now, according to Twitch, that if a player, a streamer, whatever, is banned from Twitch, their audio can't even be on fucking stream with other people. You have to, as a streamer, recognize who or who is not banned, so that way you can mute them in fucking chat so you don't get banned because, you know, just talking to somebody who is banned off the platform will now get you banned or whatever, depending on how big you are, of course. I mean, if you're a small streamer, Twitch isn't watching regardless, but if you're a big dog talking with some other big dogs who have been banned, you're shit out of luck. And that's just all part of our plan, baby. The inclusivity fucking mob is gonna come for you. Uh, Twitch, this was just a joke, by the way. Please don't ban me. Uh, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, also, check me out at Twitch at twitch.tv slash perky underscore biscuits. Uh, peace out. Now, Twitch, please don't ban my ass because this was just a joke. Now, if you guys like the video, comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz. You can follow me over at Twitch, twitch.tv slash perky underscore biscuits, as long as I'm not banned. Uh, peace out. Well, stay mad. Stay mad, haters. I'm right. I'm right.